Um, however, you can see that different propositions actually implement different types of widgets or actually not necessarily widgets in the true sense of the word, being small web applications that act as front end to the internet cloud. Um, you see a lot of propositions that are basically quick links into embedded applications on the device, which is very, very different. Um, so what we in Plaza um, are doing is, is a widget-based platform that is supposed to address um, two issues fundamentally for, for operators and for the industry as a whole. Um, one is that in order to mobilize the internet, you need to mobilize the web community. In order to mobilize the web community to start writing applications for mobile, it has to be based on the same tools, the same web tools that application developers are writing applications for the web today. So, so uh, Qualcomm and Plaza is all about using web standards in order to allow this conversion, in order to allow easy migration of web developers to start creating those mobile applications. And the second is very, very important because mobilizing the internet is not only creating an embedded application of an internet service, it's also about mobilizing the business paradigm of the internet, which is free in return, to, in return for B2B revenues. And the whole point is that we are trying to provide operators with ability to derive new revenue streams, new business to business revenue streams. So those are based on advertising, etc. We believe that widgets are fundamental here because, especially on mass market devices, this is not necessarily a, an iPhone hype. There's a lot of hype around the niche devices, but we believe that mobilizing the internet and mobilizing the business paradigms of the internet is addressing the mass market. So the mass market, the same as the internet companies, are making money and monetizing their unique eyeballs. We believe that operators have the same opportunity to monetize their subscriber base. And that means that widgets are a very interesting opportunity here because widgets represent new real estate on the device. So this is no longer a real estate which is only the, the, the portal, the operator's portal. This is new real estate. This is new discovery of services. This is new ecosystem that can be created using this conversion of web developers to write mobile. And this new ecosystem and new real estate is very targeted because each one of us have different web preferences different content providers that they would like to have, and the, inter the internet represents an ever-changing web preferences. Those web preferences represent very targeted potential advertising and B2B revenues. Can so I just clarify something when we say the widgets, you mean that these are on the home screen? These widgets are on the home screen? This Otherwise, how are they? And, and, and who, is, who is managing the monetization of those? Because is it the operator or is it the revenue share? How does it compare with your other stuff like that stores? This this could be this could be on the home screen. This could be as an application. This could be again all depends on device capabilities, the operator's interaction with the OEMs, etc. There are certain OEMs that are opening APIs to the home screen. There are certain OEMs that have different strategies. So it could be a mix of it. I think again the whole idea is that there is opportunity in mass market devices for the internet and for B2B monetization and new revenue streams. And, and we, we tend to neglect that, and I think that's what Plaza is trying to do, so trying to create this long tail of ecosystem, internet-based ecosystem for mass market devices. Okay, the same, same sort of perspective to, to, to Ryan. Um, the question being that how do you, uh, how do you monetize and, and how do you compare with what's already out there? So the question for me, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so basically, our, our view is um, um, there, there are some similarities to that, but the, the difference, I think, is the value we bring to the social dimension. Our view is that um, on the fixed web, the traditional web, uh, there's lots of times where you click on the link in an email and you discover a site or you go to a site which you wouldn't have necessarily gone to on your own. Uh, it doesn't exist on mobile. Uh, I've been in the mobile business for 15 years. I've never actually received from any of my friends a link in an SMS. So we believe there's a fundamental dimension to that, which is uh, a social media dimension, which is basically getting traffic uh, through the community. So basically what we built in Kujet is a way for uh, publishers to actually um, be part of an environment which is uh, widget-based browsing, icon-based browsing, uh, 
we don't care too much about the technology behind widgets, and, and we're not going to fight about what's go what is a widget or not, but we're putting simply little icons in front of people's eyeballs, and we're letting them choose whatever they want to have as shortcuts on their page. But more importantly, we're letting them share that. So now suddenly you're in an environment where if I like this uh, piece of news in Time Magazine, uh, a video on YouTube, uh, a joke that I found on a, on a joke site, I can share that with my friends and suddenly you get a totally different dimension to the traffic those sites are getting. So we're, we're not too much thinking in terms of mobile content doesn't exist. There, there are actually uh, hundreds or ten, uh, ten thousands of um, you know, sites which are already optimized for mobile but which are lacking um, a, a lot of uh, stickiness because no one can share that content. Um, you know, YouTube wouldn't exist um, as it is today if no one could have shared the videos which are on there. So we're basically bringing that dimension to mobile. When it comes to monetization, uh, we're basically working on an advertising model, which is we're bringing traffic, which is better traffic than you know, search engine traffic or, or traditional display traffic where people click on a banner and they, know, they don't know what to expect or they don't know where it's coming from. We bring traffic which is valuable because it's qualified and it's also uh, a good part of that is, br is brought to you by your friends. Okay. That's our monetization uh, approach. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd like to ask the same question to, um, to, to Gojit, which is Gokola. Yeah. Uh, uh, so. oh, I wanted to ask the, the same question to, to, to Gojit. Uh, that I'm no, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I, I can add an amendment to this. This is yeah, okay, from, from Yahoo. I think um, I agree with Qualcomm's position on long tail monetization, but but I, I mean uh, let's be realistic. I think from a and for Yahoo we have um, we deliver services to millions of users, and I'm going to talk a bit about it first from an adoption perspective, and then also talk about it from a monetization perspective. Because I know if we get it right, they should be tightly correlated or certainly related. Um, on the adoption side, I mean, there is over-indexing, certainly in our experience, um, there is over-indexing for a certain, big, you know, um, uh, data adoption rates on certain platforms, clearly. Uh, I think for us, and certainly in our uh, announcement today, our response to what I would consider the long tail in terms of reaching devices is really uh, another iteration of our Yahoo Go, which is, uh, which is really just, we're just calling it at this point, Yahoo Mobile for smart device or smartphones. And, and our thinking on that is there's clearly using a widget framework, and for us a widget framework is simply enabling uh, whatever you experience you want on the web um, or on the mobile web easily brought into a highly discoverable experience on a mobile device via proliferation of, of these widget experiences that go deep enough to make them meaningful. So whether you're drilling deep into your friends list, which